What is going on everyone? Welcome guys to a brand new Clash of Clans video on the channel. That's right guys, and this is going to be the second Clash video of the day as promised. Now tomorrow, I'm not too sure guys if I'm going to be able to get out two or three videos. I might only come down to only getting one video out for the entire day, but I promise guys if I'm only going to get one video out, it is going to be much higher quality hopefully, and I'm going to be putting more time and effort into it. The video may even be longer. I know some of my my videos are only about six minutes long other videos are closer to 11 if I'm only going to be getting out one video per day I'm hoping to make it a longer video over 10 minutes that's just the hope guys but I can't promise anything but let's hop right into today's topic the reason that I wanted to make this video is specifically because clash of clans supercell put the party wizard officially back into the game guys let's hop right over here into the events section and you can see right here and he's back! The party wizard is temporarily back and ready to join this year's clash anniversary festivities. Don't forget to crank up the volume for the full effect. Now you have to win 25 multiplayer battles using at least 13 party wizard troops. Guys, they are absolutely amazing and I'm going to show you all why. So if we take a second to hop on over here into our barracks, we're going to see that right below the regular wizard is the party wizard now he's got the cool sparkly fro hair it is amazing guys i love the look of it and i'm sorry because my troop classes right now are currently full i'll get rid of one party wizard so you guys can actually see what they're supposed to look like but as you guys can see the regular wizard is right above the party wizard now we're going to look at both of them they're automatically going to match with the same level they're both level eight and right here guys the level eight wizard is going to do two 215 damage and have 210 hit points that's right now seeing that both of them are going to be the same 3800 elixir that's pretty comparable guys now let's go see the actual damage and hit points of the party wizard you're going to immediately see that it has less hit points that's right guys about 50 to 60 less hit points than the regular wizard but you're going to be doing a hundred more damage now it's not necessarily a hundred more damage per shot it's just that he's actually going to be shooting his bolts quicker that's the way that the party wizard works he does less damage per shot but is able to shoot it off quicker therefore doing more damage per second guys and we're also going to be looking at this right here they both take up four housing space but the party wizard has a movement speed of 24 whereas the regular wizard is only got a 16 movement speed that is a pretty significant change especially when you consider that movement speed plays such a large part in taking down buildings. The quicker your troops can get to those buildings and defenses and take them out, the better off you're going to be in the long run. But enough chatting about the party wizard, let's go actually join a match and see if we can't find a base to attack. We have 65 party wizards here, let's hop right into a match guys and I'll see you when I'm there. Alrighty guys, we found an amazing loot base right here, but it's also going to be perfect because there is so much spread out around this map and it's going to allow our wizards to actually truly infiltrate this base. So we're going to start off by immediately putting down a wizard along the outside. I want to show you guys just how quickly these guys can shoot, so let's put one down right here. You're going to see immediately he's going to just start firing real quick and the speed at which he moves is pretty insane when compared to a regular wizard. I do wish that I'd been able to actually put some wizards into this class loadout, but I didn't think it through, so we're going to pop a couple of wizards onto each building, guys, around the outside. Mostly we are going for the collectors for the loot, but let's see just how well we can actually truly do here, guys. I'm going to save 14 party wizards to see if we need to take out any extra buildings, and this is a perfect reason why right here. Bada bing, bada boom guys, we're probably going to easily be able to get the 50%. We're going to put a couple more down over here, use the Barbarian King as a distraction and the Grand Warden right behind just to keep our troops pretty safe here. We're going to then use the Grand Warden ability, again guys, keeping our troops safe long enough to get the Barbarian King to do some more damage. He's going to be the tank in this situation taking all of it while that party wizard behind is going to do any damage necessary to take out those defenses. Come on, we can do this, we can do this. 
No, so close to the 50%, but we did get pretty insane loot. Now, if you're going to be using any major troops such as a Golem and a couple of Pekkas, those are going to be your real tank troops, and those are going to come before you put down the Party Wizards. That's the best way of going about it, guys, and I stupidly did not do that. I did make another class up, as you guys can see right here. It's going to have four Electro Dragons, and it's supposed to have 35 Party Wizards. Of of course I did take one off before just to show you guys, but I'm hopefully going to be making another video with a different class setup, really showcasing how to use the party wizard. As always, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video, and if you did, please be sure to smash that like button, guys. Don't forget to comment your opinion and subscribe to the channel if you are new. The channel's been popping off recently. We gained about 10 new subscribers in the past week alone. That's the most we have gained in many, many months, at least in such a short time. So as always, I love you all so much. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Peace.